Hi, thanks for joining us at Nelly Security. Today what we're going to do is record a Hike Vision camera onto the PC in VR software. This software is included with a disc that came with your camera. Um, now before we begin, what you'll need to do is either partition part of your hard drive or have more than one hard drive in your computer. If you just have one hard drive, you can simply Google uh, partitioning a hard drive to find some simple steps to do this. Now to begin, go ahead and open up the PC in VR software. Okay, and now once the software is open, you'll be um, greeted with a, a wizard here. Um, what we'll do is go ahead and hit next. Now as you can see here, <laughs> we've already partitioned part of our drive with the letter R. Um, you'll need to pre-allocate space. So go ahead and check the box here then hit pre-allocate. It's basically that you're going to get a pop-up message. Um, the original data of your disk won't be deleted. It will basically save everything on that disk so you don't have to worry about your whole hard drive getting wiped out. Go ahead and hit OK. And go ahead and hit OK on the next information screen there. And the program should reboot here. Okay, now that we have the software back up, let's go ahead and hit click next. And we will select our hard drive and then click next. Now what we need to do is add one of our IP cameras to the PC NVR software. Um, you'll already need to have it connected to your network. So let's click the add button. As you can tell at the top here, you can either add it individually uh, by typing in the IP address manually, or what's easier is just um, selecting it from the list on the online detection option. <coughs> we'll go ahead and select the top one here. And then at the bottom, you'll see a username and password section. Um, by default, the, the username and password is admin, and the password is 12345. Now if you've changed this, you'll need to input your camera's password and your camera's username into these fields. Once done, go ahead and click Add. Okay, and now that, now that we have the IP camera added, go ahead and click Next. Now what we need to do is set up a record schedule. Now, you can either record full time or you can do motion detection recording. You can also do alarm recording. You can also do motion detection and alarm recording combined. Um, for this tutorial, we're going to set it to motion detection recording. So go ahead and double click on your camera. And in the modify record schedule here, you'll want to set up all these options to record motion. Basically, make sure you have your graph here to detect motion. And that record template all day. We'll go to edit and then click alarm or motion. Hit OK. And hit OK one more time. OK, now that we have our record template to set to record only alarm or motion detection. Once done, click next. All right, and then hit OK. Now that we have the, the camera added, let's go ahead and pull it up full screen. And since we have the record template and the, uh, the motion and alarm template set to record, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk in our back room here, and you'll notice an icon at the top right hand of the screen. Um, you'll see a little alarm icon and also a recording icon once there's mo been motion detected. So I'm going to set down the headset here and go activate the motion. As you can tell, there's the alarm icon and there's the recording icon. Now those will stay on for a few seconds after the motion is ended. Um, and that is the post record. Basically, um, you can set a time for it to record after motion is ended. Okay, now if you didn't get the record icon 
or the motion icon, what we need to do is go into the camera's uh, settings through a web interface and turn on the motion detection recording. So what we'll do is minimize the PC NVR software and go ahead and pull up a browser. Um, this should work on any browser, Internet Explorer, uh, preferably Firefox or Chrome. And type in the IP address of your camera and click enter. Type in your username and password, except not in caps. And log in. Okay, now that we're logged into the camera, let's click the configuration button. Now from here, click the advanced configuration option on the bottom left and then click the events option. Now here you'll notice the enable motion detection. Make sure that box is checked. Make sure the sensitivity is turned up. If you highlight it, it should give you a number. If you turn, as you can see here, this is zero. And if you move it this way, it goes up. So we have ours currently set at four. Also, you'll want to make sure the grid is filled in on the screen. Um, basically, this, this, is, this grid is going to detect the motion. So if your screen is blank and you don't see any red boxes, you need to click the draw area and fill in the areas. Any area that's not filled in will not pick up motion. Keep that in mind. Next, what we need to do is scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure Notify Surveillance Center is checked. The next thing we need to make sure is checked is Trigger Channel. What that's going to do is trigger the channel to record once motion is, is activated. Once done, just click Save. And we'll go test it one more time just to make sure. And as you can see again, we have the motion detection icon, which looks like a little alarm, and also the recording icon. Okay, now that we've recorded a Hikvision camera onto the PC and VR software, what we're going to do is play back our recordings. Now to do this, let's click the playback icon at the top of the PC and VR software. Next, what you want to do is select your camera from the list on the left hand side. <coughs> Below that, you're going to see a calendar. Any day with a little triangle in the lower right hand corner means that there's been recordings on that day. So go ahead and select your day and click the search button. Now you'll see a, a big list of recordings here. Um, to play those back, you can either play back multiple ones or just click the play icon here. And it begins playing after clicking the play icon. And here in just a second we should see some motion. And to stop the playback, click the stop button to pause, pause here. And you can also go frame by frame using this button. And that's how you play back with the PC NVR software. And this concludes our tutorial on how to record with the PC NVR software. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or visit us at www.nellysecurity.com. Thanks for joining us.